Hi, my love. Join me as we make stew beans and white rice. This is me walking around to ride the list, especially when they've told you make what you think that I have not eaten in your menu. So I just dressed up this morning and had to go buy the things that I'll be using for the cooking. And this is me outside and I saw someone who is selling egg roll. I bought it. So I just sat down here to eat it first before I go buy the things I want to buy. This was a craving that I just wanted to satisfy. So this is me, I went to buy the beans and rice and look at the kind of tomato I used to give quality meals. This is the okra that I was making for the house. So I'm heading home right now, I'm into the keke and from there I boarded the taxi to straight to the house, took a job straight to the house and when I got home, my kids, my husband came to help me because true true, I was exhausted at this point. So look at them as they came let me carry the things upstairs after that my niece went straight to help me wash the tomatoes and also the shombo here we are dancing this trendies and go 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 and it was just funny so as they were dancing i just left them in the kitchen i was so hungry i carried the pots that had the remaining food at home and went to scrape it to regain strength then she went to blend the tomatoes that I am using. Now this is the next day. Good morning. And this is when I'm making the stew, the rice and the beans proper. So I, when I come in, I first set up with music because I need that to be playing as I am cooking. Now I'm going to take off the cylinder that I am using and also set up the industrial gas because that's what I also use to cook this food, okay? So please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so. Share this video, give it a thumbs up and a like. Thank you so much. Now at this point, I will just put in the hot water that I will use to wash the rice. Now I'll just go and pour in the rice into the bowl. The quantity of rice I'm using here, if you're in Abuja and you're used to mudu, I'm using five mudu of rice here to make this white rice. Then I'm dancing to my song. Don't worry, I know, I don't know how to dance, okay? So when the water have boiled, I'll just go and pour it into the basin and then stir it because at this point i can't use my hand to do this work so that it doesn't burn me not beside the cook and i'll burn myself okay so and i'm going to wash this rice at least two times remember that you can use any method either you parboil but it's been a long time i parboiled my rice because i think it's not necessary anymore just wash it with hot water and you are good to go and you can also use cold water rinse it multiple times and you are good to go now i'm going to pour in the rice into the hot water that i have put on the stove top as i was washing it and when i pour it in i'll just give it a stir then i'm going to add some salt now why salt is important into this rice is because there are people that don't eat so much stew so if you just add a little salt you will be able to allow them to bite the white rice without even stew now you're not adding so much salt it's just a little to give it a little taste that is what i do if you don't want to add it's okay now i've come to check the rice to see if it is done the whole rice i didn't make it once i made it twice with this pot because the quantity of the rice was so much okay as i check the rice it's good to go and it's now time for me to take it out of the stove top so that i could just put it in the cooler which which i'll be using to deliver the food okay
as I was just inside preparing for the stew, they were just dancing and I saw them and joined them. My niece also joined them. This girl plays a lot, but she's not here and my kids misses them a lot. She's traveled to see her mom. So I, now I'm going to start making the stew. I first add onions and pepper into the oil and then stir it. This is to infuse its aroma and also release to the atmosphere that we're gonna make stew and it's going to be tasty now as i said that i'm going to now flavor my oil with some curry rosemary my stew base spice and also add some bay leaves stir this allow it to fry a little bit for it to release its aroma now i will bring in the tin tomato i'm using sonia here i think i'm falling in love with sonia tomato you can use gino you can use any tomato of choice anyone you love into your stew use it now you're going to fry this tomato so much that you don't want it to slap anybody when they're eating your stew that thing is a fall off is something that makes people they don't enjoy their stew so fry this tomato base very well before you even pour the fresh one the fresh one i don't think it takes a lot of time if you fry the base very well but if you don't fry the base very well it's going to take a lot of time for you to cook that stew so at least give it 10 minutes at least and 10 minutes is a lot of time and how to know that your tomato is well cooked is when you start seeing it separated you know being on their own then you know that your tin tomato is good now it's time to bring in my tomato mix so the quantity of tatashe and shambo should be higher than your tomato then also add enough onions what onions does in your tomato especially now that there is no much tomatoes is it helps it rise and also gives it flavor if you try this and you will thank me later so just leave it and stir it allow it to cook down first before you now cover it for it to continue to cook i know someone is going to say there is not enough oil now the people that i'm cooking this to you for don't need a lot of oil and this is the perfect way that this stew can go not that i don't want to add more oil if you leave me i will add more oil and fry it and allow it to cook very well but one thing i'll show you is that this tomato oh tasted very delicious so what i just poured was my meat stock and my meat for the stew then i'll spice up the stew again add some curry the bed add some curry ginger and garlic powder if you have add the things you want to add into your stew add some salt and even your seasoning cube anything you want to add at this point just add it and then cover it for it to cook now it's cooking and boiling very well even you will notice that the color is no more how it was in the beginning the color is changing to stew and it is boiling very very profusely and you don't want that to burn you and that is that for my beans i have already cooked it at the back so i just what i just added to these beans was salt to give it flavor thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and please share subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up see you in the next one bye